Hello, my dear students. In this lecture, we are going to see one previous year gate numerical. This question was asked in gate 2004 for two marks. Basically, this question is asked to find the area of heat transfer for a condenser. So, let us understand the question. The question is in a condenser. Now, my dear students, they have mentioned that it is a condenser. And condenser is nothing but in condenser. There is a phase change of hot fluid that is steam will convert into liquid right and it is a phase change for hot fluid so if i draw here condenser right my dear students condenser is nothing but condenser is nothing but phase change right phase change of hot fluid phase change of hot fluid from vapor state to the liquid state right and my dear students, whenever there is a phase change of any one fluid, that is either it is a hot fluid phase change or maybe a, it is a cold fluid phase change also. Then the parallel flow heat exchanger becomes equal to counter flow. Then parallel becomes equal to counter flow. Right. So whether you are using here parallel flow or you are assuming here counter flow, there is absolutely fine. There is no problem. Right. You can assume parallel as well as counter because the result given by the parallel as well as counter will be exactly same. Right. So let us assume parallel flow, right? So my dear students, if I assume here parallel flow, right? In case of parallel flow, the entry of hot and cold fluid will be from same side. And here, as it is condenser, there will be a phase change of hot fluid. Therefore, my dear students, let us say, here the entry temperature of hot fluid is THI, and the temperature will not change for the hot fluid. There will be only phase change. During phase change, temperature do not change. Therefore, the exit temperature of hot fluid is THO. This is a hot fluid where temperature of hot fluid is same. THI is equal to THO. There is only phase change. During phase change, temperature do not change. And let us say the inlet temperature of cold fluid is also TCI. And here the inlet temperatures are on both sides, are on same side. And exit temperature are on same side. Therefore, but here the temperature of cold fluid increases. Right. Therefore, the exit temperature of cold fluid will be TCO. And this is a cold fluid. Such a type of arrangement is called condenser. Right. So let us understand here. In a condenser, water enters at 30 degrees Celsius and flows at the rate of 150 kg per hour. The condensing steam is at temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. Now, my dear students, they have given the condensing steam means steam is a hot fluid which is at 120 degrees Celsius. Therefore, here I can say THI is equal to THO is equal to 120 degrees Celsius. And hot fluid is a steam. Therefore, here the water will be cold fluid. The water enters means water will be cold fluid. Right. Therefore, this cold fluid is a water. So, my dear students, here the entry temperature of water is given means it is a TCI. Therefore, TCI is nothing but 30 degrees Celsius. Again, this water flows at the rate of means mass flow rate of water is given. Here, mass flow rate of water is nothing but mass flow rate of cold fluid, which is nothing but 1500 kg per hour. Let us convert into kg per second. Therefore, this mass flow rate of cold fluid will be equal to 1500 divided by 3600 kg per second. Right. Then the condensing steam is at temperature 120 degrees Celsius and cooling water leaves the condenser at 80 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the exit temperature of water that is TCO is given. This TCO is 80 degrees Celsius. Right. Then Specific heat of water is 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Here specific heat of water is given means Cp of cold fluid is given 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. After that, the overall heat transfer coefficient is here 2000 Watt per meter square Kelvin. Therefore, U is given. U is 2000 Watt per meter square Kelvin. Then the heat transfer area is now for this condenser we have to find heat transfer area in meter square because all options are given in meter square so let us find here this heat transfer area now my dear students heat transfer is nothing but we have seen this formula that is u a l m t d heat transfer is nothing but u a l m t d where u is overall heat transfer coefficient a is area of heat transfer and l m t d is log mean temperature difference right so my dear students here we have to find first log mean temperature difference because here U is given, but heat transfer is not given. The same heat transfer 
for the heat exchanger is written as u a l m t d and for cold fluid the same heat is exchanged with cold fluid therefore for cold fluid it is written as m c p of cold fluid into into temperature difference of cold fluid that is p c o minus p c i now here you can see the mass flow rate of cold fluid is given then c p of cold fluid is also given right then pco tci that is exit and inlet temperatures of cold fluid are also given means this heat transfer is given right heat transfer rate is given mcp pco minus tci so if i calculate lmtd then i will get area right so my dear students let us focus on lmtd now my dear students to find lmtd here left side temperature difference is called delta t1 this temperature difference which is nothing but delta t1 right which is nothing but thi minus tci and this right side temperature difference is called delta t2 and this delta t2 is nothing but tho minus tci and in terms of this delta t1 and delta t2 lmtd is calculated as lmtd log mean temperature difference is equal to delta t1 minus delta t2 divided by ln of delta t1 divided by delta t2 right now here both side temperature difference are given from the data we can calculate so let us find this lmtd first so if i calculate this lmtd let us say lmtd here lmtd will be equal to delta t1 is thi minus tci therefore it is thi minus tci minus delta t2 delta t2 is tho minus tco therefore minus tho minus tco divided by ln of delta t1 that is thi minus tci divided by delta t2 that is tho minus tco right so let us put the values therefore lmtd will be equal to thi and tho are 120 and tci is 30 and tco is here 80 so let us put the values therefore it is nothing but therefore thi minus tci is 120 minus 30 minus tho is 120 tco is 80 Divided by ln of 120 minus 30 divided by 120 minus 80. Now from this calculation you will get LMTD. So let us solve for LMTD. This LMTD you will find as 61.65 degrees Celsius. Right. This will be the value of LMTD. Now my dear students, let us put this LMTD in this equation. That is Q is equal to U A LMTD is equal to M C P T C O minus T C I. Right. Therefore here I will write this LMTD. Will be equal to 61.65 degrees Celsius. Now this heat transfer is nothing but U A L M T D U A L M T D or equal to M C P of cold fluid into delta T of cold fluid that is T C O minus T C I. So let us put the values. Overall heat transfer coefficient U is given 2000 watt per meter square Kelvin. Therefore it is 2000 watt per meter square Kelvin into area is unknown into L M T D is 61.65 is equal to now mass flow rate is given for the cold fluid 1500 divided by 6600 therefore it is 1500 divided by 3600 into cp now my dear students here this u we have to use in watt per meter square kelvin so cp we have to use in kilojoule instead of kilojoule we have to make it joule therefore we have to use this cp in joule per kg kelvin But it is given in kilojoule. Therefore, the CP is 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Let us convert it to joule per kg Kelvin. Therefore, I have to multiply with 10 to the power 3. Right. Into TCO is 80 minus TCI is 30. Right. So, my dear students, in this complete equation, only area is unknown. So, let us solve this equation for area. And area you will find as 0.707 meter square. So, my dear students, for this question, answer is 0.707 meter square. Therefore, option A will be the correct choice. Thank you, dear students. In next lecture, we will see one more numerical on this topic, which was asked in previous year gate examination.